Hello, I'm Takuma Oda. Today, I'm here to talk to you about my paper, Equilibrium Inverse Enforcement Learning for Light Hailing Vehicle Network. Let's begin by a motivation of our work. Light hailing services such as Uber aim to improve overall efficiency by managing vehicles in a coordinated manner. They have some degree of, con of control over the market by assigning vehicles to riders' requests. However, they need to deal with the uncertainty arising from self-interested driver behavior since workers are usually free to drive when they are not assigned tasks. So our research question is, can we predict or simulate these uncertain driver behaviors? If we can generate realistic driver routing, more detailed and reliable simulations can be used for decision-making to improve their services. To answer this question, we need to tackle some challenges. Fine-grained road network structures tend to be computational intensive, which is often abstracted and represented as a quasar mesh. The number of vehicles to be simulated for ride hailing services is generally relatively large, ranging from hundreds to thousands. Robustness to changes in environmental dynamics and data noise is essential when you want to simulate situations that are not in the distribution of training data. So our goal is imitating passenger seeking behaviors or multiple taxis in a rural network with unknown dynamics. We concern ourselves with several existing research concepts. Imitation learning is a powerful approach to learning policies directly from the expert demonstrations to produce expert-like behavior. However, they are typically incapable of being applied to general transfer setting. Inferring reward functions from expert demonstrations, referred to as inverse reinforcement learning, is more beneficial for applications of counterfactual simulations since the reward function is often considered as the most succinct, robust, and transformative representation of a task. Zebel has proposed Max Entire L, which is applied to learn, learn occupied taxi routing in single agent setting. In large agent settings, an agent cannot myopically maximize its reward. It must speculate on how the other agents may act to influence the game's outcome. Most existing methods work on small size games but not applicable to games of large number of players, such as ride-hailing services. There are many works on classical traffic control theory in which each agent seeks to minimize her own individual cost by choosing the best route to reach her destination. In contrast, ride-hailing drivers do not have clear destination and move more stochastically in search of passengers. In this work, we propose SAIL, Spatial Equilibrium Inverse Enforcement Learning, the first approach to March agent behavior modeling and reward learning in equilibrium on a raw network for a ride hailing service. To make the problem definition more specific, we introduced some assumptions. In nature, the driver's policy is time independent, but if the period is short, it can be regarded as static within a short time, short period of time. For example, if we divide the time of day into 30 minutes slots, and let's say it's 9 a.m. Agents act according to an equilibrium policy depending on demand and travel time during current period. When the time progresses 9 to 9.30, these parameters change and policy updates accordingly. Another assumption is that driver's policy depends on the beliefs about states of policies of their competitors. Since real taxi drivers do not have access to real-time data, it is natural to expect that they are acting to maximize profitability based on the average supply demand distribution obtained from their previous experience, not on current state of the environment. Finally, this work does not take traffic congestion into account, but it's, it is naturally extensible. Right, let's move on to the problem definition. First, we formulate Markov decision processes in a single agent setting. This is the notation we use in this work. The state S is the agent position on the raw network, which corresponds to a node in the strongly connected directed graph. The action A stands for the edge to the road next road that the agent follows. Executing A causes a matching with passengers with probability rho and a state transition subject to destination distribution of passengers, denoted D. This right trip takes a time of step H, which depends on the raw network distance between origin and destination. On the other hand, if no matching occurs, the agent transitions to the raw network successes nodes, which and the success knows S prime, which requires a time step of tau. This formulation can be also applied to match agent setting, in which interaction between agents happens only through matching process, 
which brings me to my next topic, pick up probability modeling. We consider each road as an independent queue, such that the ride will carry passengers in the queue when vehicle passes. Consider a situation where on road S, potential passengers occur at arrival rail lambda and empty vehicles passes at a service rate mu, and the passenger will disappear at a certain dropout rate sigma. Assuming that the waiting queue length for the person distributions, the probability of ride occurrence rho and the number of rides m are represented as this equation. Here, lambda and sigma are unknown parameters which can be estimated by the maximum likelihood estimation. As can be seen, pickup probability depends only on the service rate, i.e. cruising traffic on that load. And the traffic flow can be computed by propagating state distribution under the current initial condition and policy, which is the same as the vicinity should count in our literature. This concludes that an agent policy depends on other agents only through expected visitation count. Now we can formulate the March agent policy learning problem as the following RL problem. Here, the first term is the instant reward function denoted as G, and the second term is entropy regularization. Only the flow condition differs from the single agent maximal entropy RL. Moving on to the next part, I'd like to look at an algorithm to solve this 4RL problem. Suppose we know the reward function G. State action value Q can be represented as Bellman equation. As explained earlier, each action agent gets some reward G and with a pickup probability low. It transitions to S double prime and if, if pickup does not occur, that is, with a probability one minus low, the agent transitions to S prime. Here, gamma is discount factor. Given fixed traffic flow, the optimum policy can be computed by generating the Bellman backups. Using state and state action values, the shared driver policy is given by the sick agent. The visitation count mu can be obtained by propagating state distributions by executing policy pi, starting from passenger, passenger drop-off distribution as initial state distribution, which satisfies this traffic equation. This slide presents the algorithm which computes the policy and the visitation count at the equilibrium. Equilibrium. At the beginning of each iteration, we update the pickup probability and the initial state distribution according to the previous decision count. And then we iterate Bilderman backups to find the optimal policy. Next, we compute the expected decision count by propagating a pro probability traversing the MDP given the current policy, starting from the initial state distribution and use the weighted sum of the previous iteration. The process is repeated until mismatch distance between falls below the threshold. This picture visualizes examples of the estimated state value during morning and evening. The clear difference in two ge geographical distributions shows that drivers use significantly different policies depending on the context. Now, I'd like to talk about inverse RL problem. Our ultimate goal is to learn the reward function G such that the visitation count in equilibrium is consistent with expert demonstration mu e. This inverse RL problem can be interpreted as estimating the parameter theta of the reward function by solving the maximum likelihood estimation problem. We have shown that the gradient of the likelihood of March agent trajectory can approximate the gradient of max and IRL. Under the assumption, rho is much less than one, which is satisfied in most cases of right hailing services. The entire reward learning process is shown in this slide. Similar to Max and IRL, the algorithm iterates through the estimation of the equilibrium policy and the visitation curve, and the reward parameter updates with exponential gradient descent. Moving on to the next, next sec section, let's take a look at experiment. For data analytics and performance evaluation, we use taxi trajectory collected in the most densely populated area in city of Yokohama, Japan. The original raw data set contains the GPS information of the empty vehicle. The raw network in the region contains around 10,000 nodes and 18,000 edges. For evaluation, the data set was divided into the following three periods. Train data is used for training baselines for our proposed model. 19 December and 20 April are used for evaluation. In each data set, we treated each 30 minute period from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. as a different context. And in each context, we aggregated several characteristics, such as the number of rides on load by load basis. The number of half hourly rides in each data set is shown in this figure. 
For April data sets, the environment is significantly different due to the sharp drop in demand due to COVID-19. We compare our approach with the three baselines. First one is OPT, in which we let cost of travel time and obtain the policy by usual value iteration. Second is SC OPT, we, <coughs> we let cost be travel time again, but obtain equivalent policy. Finally, train expert is expert policy calculated from the simple statistics of the training data set. The variation was performed as follows. First, run the cost function from training data set. Second, estimate the equivalent policy for each context in each data set. Third, compute the equivalent visitation count by repeating the policy propagation. Finally, compare estimated flows with expert flow by mismatch distance ratio. Now I'd like to look at the result we got. We evaluate the imitation performance of each policy for two test data set. Our approach, sale, scored the best for both data set with an error of about 33% in the April data set. There is a large gap between SE opt and sale, which can be interpreted a driver is minimizing a more complex UOS function rather than simply taking the shortest possible route to potential customers. In order to evaluate the impact of larger change in dynamics, we next conducted an experiment in which demand in subregion, the pink area in the figure, is artificially eliminated. Since the spatial distribution of potential demand changes significantly, the actual policy is expected to be very different from the policy in the training data set. The result is shown in the disabled column in table, where sale is the best significantly ahead of training expert. This demonstrates that our approach has a high generalization performance. Furthermore, since real life vehicle logs may be missing for various reasons, we evaluated the mean impact of missing data. We randomly sampled 5% of 10% of the nodes of the load network and created the defective training data set with all the data of the sampled nodes missing and performed the same evaluation. And the rate of deterioration in the mutation accuracy for sale is mild compared to train expert, which demonstrates that sale is more robust than missing data. This movie is a visualization of generated trajectories of multiple computing taxes by our proposed framework. The computation time required to update the policy is polynomial to the network size, but not dependent on the number of agents. Depending on the hardware environment with the problem size of this row network, the policy to be updated in a few seconds, even on the single CPU. That concludes my presentation. This slide summarizes the main points. Thank you for all listening. If you are interested in my presentation, please check out my paper.